Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's video, I have another art history mystery of the Impressionist variety. Degas' dancer Making Points has a murky provenance that caused a $10 million mystery. So to learn more, keep on watching. Before we dive into the mystery, let's go over the painting itself. Painted between 1879 and 1880, Degas' dancer Making Points features a single ballerina in the middle of a performance. She's about to go on point, the mark of an expert dancer. Her dress is made of fluffy tulle and decorated with red flowers. This work is a great representation of Degas' Impressionist style and preferred subject. The beginning of the painting's provenance, or history, is fairly straightforward. It was owned by French collector Georges Lévy between 1927 and 1955, give or take a few years. In 1939, however, it was transported from France to America when Lévy fled the Nazi occupation. Around or slightly before 1955, Levy sold the work to Hugette Clark, or possibly her mother, this part is unclear in the records. Clark was the daughter of a senator and businessman, William A. Clark. He was one of the quote, copper kings of Montana, and therefore extremely wealthy. Hugette was a painter and philanthropist, but she was quiet and withdrawn. In her later years, she was known for being reclusive and eccentric. Hugette Clark died on May 24, 2011, at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City just two weeks short of her 105th birthday. She had spent the last 20 years of her life in that hospital. At the time of her death, Clark's estate was worth an estimated $300 million, and her will stipulated that 75% of the money was to be donated to charity. Now, here where things get mysterious. At one point, before November 1992, the Goss dancer making points disappeared from Clark's Fifth Avenue apartment. According to her attorney, he noticed that it was missing about a year after Clark moved into the hospital. There were some rumors that a member of the staff took it and then the doorman saw it in a trash can, but nothing has ever been officially confirmed. Clark herself seemed somewhat unconcerned with the theft, even though the painting was worth an estimated $10 million. She declined to have the piece placed on the International Missing Art Registry. A few years later, the Peter Finlay Gallery purchased the work from an anonymous young man. He told him that the work had been in his family for years and he needed the money. The gallery had no reason to believe that he was lying as the work had not been reported stolen to the authorities and it was known to have been in private collections. They purchased the work in seemingly good faith. The gallery then turned around and sold the work to Henry and Marion Block. Henry was one of the founders of tax company H&R Block. The couple are avid collectors, especially of impressionist works and the new Degas fit perfectly within their collection. Eventually, Hugette Clark learned of the sale of the painting, and she decided to pursue legal action. However, because she never registered the work as stolen, this became quite tricky. In addition, an FBI investigation into how the work was taken from Clark's apartment proved inconclusive. Both parties hired lawyers and did their best to keep litigation out of the media. Eventually, everyone settled an agreement. Clark would get a tax credit for donating the piece, but it would go to a museum that the Blocks worked closely with the Nelson Atkins Museum in Kansas City. Henry Block had been a longtime trustee, chairman, and benefactor, and the museum was where the couple had promised to donate their extensive art collection when they died. However, when the museum officially received the painting, they quote, loaned it back to the Blocks for the rest of their lives. However, there was some dissent with this decision. For example, there have been arguments that Clark was not in sound mental health when she made the agreement and during the changing of her will. In addition, who stole the artwork in the first place? We will likely never know how the painting was removed or by who, but at least the work Degas Dancers Making Points is able to be enjoyed and is in safe hands. Tragically, there are many works that have been stolen that will never see the light of day again. 